NASCAR has banned the Confederate battle flag from all of its races and venues. The only African-American full-time NASCAR driver, Bubba Wallace, led the campaign for equality, painting Black Lives Matter on his car, as well as the words compassion, love, and understanding. Now, some fans say the move is a deal breaker, but driver Ray Ciccarelli announced that he was ending his career on Facebook because of it. And here's our Charlotte McBride with what's on her mind. NASCAR made a monumental move yesterday in banning Confederate flags from its races. Now, if you've ever been to a NASCAR race, you know that the flag of the Confederacy flies high over infields, tracks, and is often printed on thousands of t-shirts. Now, most NASCAR tracks are in the South, and while some say the Confederate flag represents their Southern pride, for black Americans, it's a symbol of a war to keep them enslaved. Here's my take. You have other outlets to express that pride. We need to move on from this antiquated symbol of hate and racism. Take my family's home state of Georgia, for instance. You can eat a peach, boil some grits, or even root for the Georgia Bulldogs. But throw away that flag. That flag represents one of the darkest times in our nation's history, and there is no place for it, especially not in sport. Sports are supposed to unite us, but that flag prevented a true adoption of diversity. NASCAR Truck Series driver Ray Sicarelli announced he is ending his career over the banning of the Confederate flag. Ray, don't let the car door hit you on the way out. You are part of the problem. Educate yourself. Have some empathy. This isn't about the right to choose what flag you fly at your tailgate. This is about race because of what that flag represents. NASCAR isn't telling us what foods we can eat, what drivers we can cheer for. NASCAR is telling its fans it will not stand for racism and inequality. A step in the right direction to bringing more diversity into its sport and its crowd. The banning of the Confederate flag is undoubtedly the right thing to do. I am white. I grew up in the Deep South. And I have seen over these last two weeks that more than 160 years after the Civil War has ended, racism is still very much alive. I acknowledge my privilege to only now be speaking up about this, but unlike Ray Sicarelli, I choose to use my voice for equality, humanity, not bigotry and supremacy. I applaud NASCAR for this historic decision, which will help draw awareness to an issue that those other Southerners who are privileged like me need to hear. I'm Charlotte McBride, and that's what's on my mind.